Hi. All right, my bad. Oh. Now you're good. Now we're good. Hey! hey. Welcome <laughs> to Honest Trailer Commentaries, the show where we watch the other show about the other movies. Today, um, Fantastic Beasts 3, The Crimes of Dumbledore. Pretty sure it's the fifth Fantastic Beasts. It movie. feels like the hundredth. Um, but we're going to talk about that, give our behind-the-scenes thoughts, what we really felt, if you couldn't really tell, uh, how much we like this movie. Um, you'll find out now. <laughs> yeah, lawn sinking. Um, <laughs> we don't we, have a sinking chair. That's just lawn. That's, that's, that's all my natural. spirits. Just <laughs> natural sink, baby. Uh, Danielle's here too. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the, the movie. We're going to give you our um, deleted scenes and tease you with next week's honest trailer and also uh, answer your questions. So keep those coming in the chat. One of these days, I will find out which camera is mine. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, let's let's get into this. I hate this film. I wish it never <laughs> happened. Um, it, the last one is what truly broke me, but I was on uh, paternity leave, so I didn't, uh, I, I, was, I was mercifully not uh, a part of the Honest trailer. Oh, yeah, um, I missed that one. Right. But good Lord. Um, what a, it, this is like Sideshow Bob and the Rake, um, but I, <laughs> I'm i Sideshow Bob and the Rake is everything this movie. The film is This the whole movie. franchise is just, the magic is terrible. J.K. Rowling is terrible. Uh, the, just every decision front to back, from from big picture of like, let's make the movie about Dumbledore, the, one of the least interesting parts of Dumbledore's <laughs> life. Let's let's make an entire film dedicated to that, mm. to what they do with the beast, to, the, to just sucking every last drop of magic from this franchise. I really know how to pick them, the things I really get into. I was going to say, because you, know? you were like, this one in Game of Thrones were like- Harry Potter, you Game are, of Thrones. Those, and, are, your, uh, those I, are your babies. I got an early start with Orson Scott Card and yeah. Ender's Game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really, just just follow me, folks, for whatever's going <laughs> to, whoever's going to lose their mind you got, and just you be like, god-awful later. This Vin Diesel bloodshot franchise. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, quite promising. Yeah. I think, uh, this will end well. Stay tuned for more Morbius, because yeah. that's going to just keep going. You oh, know, there are great Lord things. There are great great things about this movie. No, I don't blame wanna, one. No, there blame are. One. No, uh, a one. lot of people got paid. <laughs> okay. The about, cast. About this the crew, movie as opposed catering, to. Catering. Okay, if, if this. Drivers. Is, you have to make the case for this movie above a average replacement movie. You know, of, of a movie of any other type. Why is this one better? Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying. I was really going to try to keep the bit going, and I just couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like uh, maybe it, it's possible J.K. Rowling has not heard a story and does not know that they got to have beginnings, middles and ends. And like there's rules and you know, there's also it, it just it's a I don't know. It's incoherent. Her storytelling in these movies is incoherent. Nothing seems to sort of fit together. People aren't active like the all of these movies in, in, in a big way are about Dumbledore and Grindelwald having this clash, you know, like they see things differently. They used to be friends slash lovers slash partners, collaborators. But and, even that is not, is off camera. That's just described. Right. We, we, we hear about that. it. Yeah. And, and, and Shouldn't yet, that be the hottest thing in the world? Shouldn't when we you be have seeing? Two people, shouldn't that be the movie? The two be people the who were in love deeply, madly, wildly in love so much they were like, well, we got to create a spell so that like I can't accidentally murder you in my sleep or like whatever with my wand magic. Like there should be so, this should be like Mr. and Mr. Smith. Like this should be <laughs> hot. There should be like buildings crumbling. And like, and I'm not saying that like I need to see well, if you these know, movies but are gonna, I am saying that that's, like, that's what there should be lines. chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I just, that's a fair point because these, they, she wants these movies to grow up with the audience. And the audience are old farts now. Like I grew up waiting in line for Harry Potter books and right. I'm now an old fart. So I can see uh, adult content in a Harry Potter film, but she still makes them like fairly childlike in in what they're willing to deal with or what they're willing it, to acknowledge. It, it's, it's that like we don't get to delve into the real relationship issues that as adults we know would be the under right. that that's what's un, that's the, that's the structure of this whole franchise. But it's also just they're just not active as characters. They're always just kind of like 3D chess, like standing around in a big room plotting this move, that move. And we, the audience, are not invited into their plans. Like, she's well, got no, it is plan. That's the movie is planning and it's civics and it's and, explaining. And, like, it's planning. world building for the most boring mail right. room of a magical world it's, it's that planning, you've ever been inside. And then the thing arrives and it's yeah. not interesting. The thing they've been planning the whole like in this one, it's election fraud that they're and, planning and they towards even, the whole movie. And they don't even. There's a part where they're literally explaining the last movie is the crimes of Grindelwald. Vault. And so in this one, they are explaining why the, the, these are no longer crimes of Grindelwald. They literally cut away 
from the explanation of how he got away from the crimes of Grindelwald yeah. um, so that, that we could do more uh, like uh, uh, standing around and talking, which is like, well, we were just watching some standing around and talking that might have actually been useful and helped us understand what was happening in the movie, but now we're watching this other standing around but what's, and talking. what's especially galling is, yes, they, it is just standing around and talking, and they, they sweep away the crimes of Grindelwald to focus on an election to a position with completely unclear stakes and powers and what this is like a, is it the un is it a model before? UN? i don't I've even know if the it. world president of magic what do they do job. what can they do well, who's the... it's been mentioned in... oh. but shut up <laughs> <laughs> shut up o'toole no but who is my name's ryan i did the research in in normal don't defend this movie <laughs> well, but in normal harry potter in the in the hogwarts timeline of the original harry potter films Who's the world president of magic? We don't ever hear I about that. I think there might be. You're, uh, God damn it, my, Ryan! You might be right. I think, I it, think like, he, right, he like yeah. officiates the, the, the world Quidditch yes. cup. Or there's something the like minister that. of magic, but he's just but that's England. Per, per that's country, just UK. Yeah. 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 But anyways, the, what's especially galling about that is is that they focus on this extremely boring part, and like we're hinting at, is sandwiched between hot young Grindelwald Dumbledore love affair and wizarding World War Two. And like, no, 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 no. Let's focus on the middle. What happened in between those two yeah. things? What was the series of bureaucratic mishaps that got us uh, from A to B? The also, in the Weimar era. Yeah, the and Weimar hey, the hey, <laughs> I know that we harp on this a lot, but also, um, is this supposed to be a movie about a fucking magic veterinarian? Sorry. <laughs> no, every, everybody gets one F-bomb one. Uh, <laughs> per, for this one. He's uh, a magizoologist, okay? <laughs> yeah. Like, he went he went to vet school. He knows how to tell, like, the yeah. different, uh, the well, different dumb deer from the other dumb every deer. Every once in a while in these movies, there will be one sequence where Newt uses a fantastic beast to mm -hmm. aid him in his magical quest. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this is a premise for a movie, <laughs> but very rarely. We, we, we get there maybe once or twice per film for like a minute. And now he's like, if he were an, a, an animal, he would be a barnacle at this point because yeah. he is just leached onto this other bloated uh, Dumbledore I, prequel. I, I, it's uh, it's, Theseus is really like, his mm. brother is just like, why are you here? Why <laughs> Why do you exist? You know what? Today is election day in California. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take my cat to Kim Kardashian's house and we're going to have a discussion. Let's see if it bows to you or Rick yeah. Caruso. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how we do it. Yeah. That's how we do it. That's how we're doing it. Let's watch the dumb thing. Uh, <laughs> God. Oh, boy. Ugh. And you have Jude Law and he's hot and you're not having to make steamy eyes at someone? Like, come on. They had that, well. Those we'll two also about. have no chemistry Zero. whatsoever in the world. Like, you don't believe they've the met studio, before. They cut J.K. Rowling from the Harry Potter special. Cut Johnny Depp from this movie. Cut Zack Snyder from Justice League. Wants to cut Amber Heard from Aquaman 2. And is somehow cutting Ezra Miller from The Flash as we speak comes the third of five planned films. And I'm sure Warners will honor that instead of changing their minds and cutting the last two entirely. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not getting another Harry Potter movie for a so, long yeah. Pause. time. Um, you know, that, that opening is not to suggest uh, uh, support or the lack thereof for any of those decisions. Just to point out that Warner Brothers is the most like dysfunctional, out of control studio <laughs> yeah. when it comes to their major uh, tentpole franchise, DC yeah. and Harry Potter. Please don't uh, yell at us, please. We're, I mean, you, we're you're going to yell at us regardless. Whatever, we're, whatever we're, you think, we yeah. agree. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the point is that um, they uh, Harry Potter for them, I feel like, is too big to fail. Right, they can't just stop doing Harry Potter no. entirely. No. They'll figure it out. Like someone somewhere is in a room in like a think tank, as just like sitting around like old school style, like newspaper editors with like cigarettes and coffee, and like oh, we gotta fix this Harry yeah. Potter. I like, wish it was someone's... Joe. I wish it was Joe Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got it like in a room smoking. That's the like, problem. Oh, I gotta it's figure like, out this Potter. Unlike the the DC properties where they can. Um, you know, uh, uh, rob the creators of their, right. of their intellectual property. Oh, just blind. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, JK is still very much alive and very yeah. much in control and mm -hmm. has some very, uh, uh, has a real strong direction she wants to take these in. Yeah, I, I mean, you're you're right. It, it's worth too much to them. Not And not only as films, like it, 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 theme parks. Yeah, that, I drive past and, Hogwarts on the freeway. Right. And, and, and like, so they, they can't give up on it. If it's not this, it's going to be something else. I did think it was interesting that this film does kind of feel like it's wrapping itself up. Like, it does yeah. feel in some ways like they got a little ahead of this and were like, maybe if we decide not to make two more, let's give this a feeling of 
mm-hmm. finality. Newt's so we story can, is done. Yeah, we can kind of pivot elsewhere if we want to. And I didn't expect that. I thought this was going to lead naturally into my into- night, my nightmare, Fantastic Beast <laughs> Four part part five split into two parts. <laughs> yeah, the the madness of Lon Harris. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, well, we'll, uh, okay, movie fight. Time for movie fight. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, here we go. Drop it. Play yeah, play the thing. It's time for Screen Junkies Movie Fights. All right, you are um, the new head of Discovery, HBO. David Zaslav. You're David yeah, Zaslav, baby. baby. Mm, uh, you put your Zaslav pants on in the morning. <laughs> um, you fire half your employees. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, your first big decision that comes across your desk is what is the next just the general broad nature of the next Harry Potter property that you greenlight. Ooh, I pitched mine on a previous movie fight, so okay. I'm you gonna can, you can pitch re-pitch. it again. But you, yeah. you, you go for it. You look like you had one. Um, okay. Well, well. So if it was me and I was pitching, um, and I was pitching one, I think that this is the the time when you go to America. Like for me, it would be. We went like, there. It sucks. I mean, America sucks, <laughs> but like it's. But Even in our dreams, new. it sucks. Can we not imagine <laughs> well, a magical we there, America? We went there in the twenties. We could go there. In yeah, a different we would time. go there. We <sighs> would go there now. And God. so you start with like a new, like plucky, like uh, you start with a, a plucky little mugs, little muggy <laughs> mug, little muggles, um, like figuring out that she. Yes, it's a she. <gasps> oh my God! Um, out, I'm woke out. mafia, <laughs> forcing <laughs> women down our throats. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, but no, like to me, that would be the thing is like you like, look, uh, if I'm me and I'm looking at the success of something like a Black Panther, I'm going like, all right, we get a girl from Oakland. Okay. Um, she finds out that she's got magic and she's like, what's this bird do? Oh, I already did that show. Um, <laughs> I kind of already I ju- I'm just Are pitching. you pitching Men in Black International. <laughs> no, I'm pitch- I'm actually literally <laughs> I'm literally pitching Mitzvahs and Magics, which is a show that I did for uh, Dropout. But right. it's a good premise. It just yeah, literally perfect. like you just take like a, a, an American kid who finds out that she's got this thing. And now you see what this magical world is like through the eyes of like a young American kid who's like, I don't understand any, why is this a wand? Why do you sell candy that's gross instead of just candy that's good? Oh, that's interesting. So, And just having someone go in and and again, I literally, gosh darn it, Danielle, you are literally um, stealing from yourself. Yeah, no, you know, and and you just take it and have someone be like your proxy into this world and ask the questions that we ask when we're doing it. Well, I don't know if I'm I'm stealing this idea from you or not, because this sounds like this could be what I'm what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm thinking what you're thinking. We well, you might be thinking what But I'm it's thinking. like magic stand and deliver. It's like the American version mm. of Hogwarts is completely underfunded and they have to sell No, they have but to now sell, I'm picking it up. They have to sell candy to afford their wands. Oh my god. Like those little like you go in like <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Well some birdie I'm, bots I'm, every flavor <laughs> beans. <laughs> Hi. I'm 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 here with the um uh, there's a name and I'm sure Ryan knows it. I'm here with the Academy of Magical Arts and in order for me to afford a broom so that I can play Quidditch, we have to sell these every yeah. flavor yeah. beans. Oh, uh, Would you like to buy some on, just like standing in front of They're on broken <laughs> brooms. And yeah, it's yeah, like a, a it's like a, a bunch of teachers books. are just muggles. They're just reading out of the book. Like, well, it says here that you just use the wand like that. I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah, and you have like a like a Friday Night Lights season three, like East Dillon, West Dillon thing, where there's the rich private magic school across across They've the all brook. Got the new rose. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like yeah. bring it on. Yeah, yeah. It's bring it on. It's bring it on. So magic bring it on is my pitch. What's there yours, you Lost? Uh, I, I I I always like the idea of going back and doing. It's medieval times. It's the founding of Hogwarts, and so your mm. characters are like. Godric Gryffindor and Helga Hufflepuff. And I really like the idea of Salazar Slytherin being their fourth school co-founder and very obviously evil and is putting <laughs> lots of evil things into the school. <laughs> and they're just like, let's go. Why are you building this secret chamber below the school with this, like, it's big enough for a magic sake? And he's like, don't worry. Don't about worry about it. It's just Slytherin stuff. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, just like, maybe, it's a Slytherin thing you wouldn't understand. It's a room it's of requirement. It has whatever you require. Like, what if you require something evil? Don't worry about it. Listen, <laughs> you wouldn't, right? You'd require something good, right? Listen to so me, fine. Sal, <laughs> your buddy. I just love that idea. <laughs> Of like three good wizards, and then there's just this fourth guy. And good like, wizards. They can't. They can't tell that he's got the nefarious. Plan. All my life, I wanted to be an evil wizard. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if the staircase is just moved and sometimes you can't get back to your room? Like, that doesn't sound very good at all, Sal. Don't worry about it. It's going to work great. <laughs> all right. Those are your three pitches. Uh, vote in the comments below. Or, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Yeah. All right. Let's keep watching the trailer. <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Journey to magical 1930s Germany. <laughs> so not magical at all. What the Fantastic Beasts movies have always been about. 
magic politics. Well, officially, the ministry takes no position. Unofficially, my money's on Santos. Magic bureaucracy. And magic black site prisons and Pause. execution. <laughs> How sad is it to work in a magical office where the enchanted pens and paper are doing the work, but you still have to sit at your desk? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just standing like, well, I just watched a TikTok of two girls doing uh, uh, doing management for IP from home in a pool. And they can't <laughs> they, don't, they lack the imagination to do work from home. Well, yeah. <laughs> take care of It's like, why is there even a pen? You're just like, you don't need the pen. You could just, if there's a piece of paper and you want something written on it, just go, Boop. you're magic. <laughs> you're also, magic. I know we keep making fun of magical bu bureaucracy, but you can actually make it interesting. There is an entire show called The Good Place about making yeah. magical bureaucracy interesting. Yeah. That is very interesting. And like even the reality of um, the offices back then where they had the cool tubes, you put something in a tube and it'd fly around. Yeah. Maybe something a little more visual instead of just a pen I writing think, on a piece of just, paper yeah, it, for eternity till you die at your death. The idea that you'd have a whole society and everybody has like reality bending scarlet witch power <laughs> and you're doing any paperwork at all. <laughs> Is just like that. That's an excuse to do no paperwork yeah. because the whole point of paperwork is like, oh, what if I need that paper? Like, what if I have to prove your magic? There's you can also just figure like, it out in there's real also time. Like, uh, maybe like three thousand of you in the entire country. Yeah, like just what? like do a show of hands when you need to decide what, something. What are what are all of these forms for? Also, like, what is going on? They're for nothing because anytime uh, OJ Willie needs to make something happen, paper is flying all over yeah, the place. So yeah. apparently, it means nothing. It's yeah. just insane. <laughs> it's just. All right, the going. most boring magical world you could possibly come up with. Chambers. Because when a fantastic beast appears in this movie, they kill its mom. Bye, Slit the baby's mom. throat. This is horrible. <laughs> horrible. And bleed the childlike wonder from this franchise like a dead deer in a necromancer's jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> Every soft boy and small bean's favorite character is back. <laughs> Newt's commander, who's so unnecessary to the story, they make an animal pick the next president so he has a reason to stick around. You're all right, little one. His main love interest, Tina, is not back. Tina's been promoted. She's uh, very, very busy. Because <laughs> trans rights are human rights. <laughs> also returning is Jacob and his permanent O-Face. It's just, I mean, pause. I think he's, he was the best part for me of the first film. You know, mm. I thought he was a standout character, but that doesn't mean he has to be there the whole time for the next yeah. two movies. Well, they come to him and they're like, look, <laughs> everyone we know is an asshole. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could use a nice guy on the team. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. no reason for him to be there except that, it, honestly, the, the plot reason is that he's a good guy. It, he's he's yeah. nice. Well, That's really it, it's and, and hey, you know what? When you put an American in the movie, it's like suddenly we're the best part. Pew, 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 pew. We're the nicest people. I mean, it is what Danielle Suck was it, saying. Europe. He's there to be like, well, we need to explain things to yes, him because he's not from here, yeah. which is a which is a narrative crutch. But like by the third movie, we, like we shouldn't be there anymore. Like we should know enough about the parameters of what they're doing yeah. that you don't need a character that got to be like, well, you see, Jacob, what we're doing. And the here. the lane was open, and then uh, you were saying this, but I also see the top comment is the pitch meeting said this too. Is that the move would have been to make him the magic president at the end. It seems so obvious that they are do it. They are they're yeah. pushing it in that direction. They've got like two different scenes where people tell him he's pure of heart. He's so genuine. And then the, the whole person. plot is like this deer can see who's pure of heart. Right. And, who's and so you're like, like, oh, it's gonna. And then that one plus be, one is two. And what would one be plus the, one is fuck you. And what would be <laughs> the perfect counterpoint to Grindelwald bye wanting bye, to take my control? Station. Grindelwald wants to take control to destroy the world of Muggles. What would be the perfect counterbalance? A, muggle, a muggle shall muggle rule them. In yeah. charge of the wizards, and now you unite the clans. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, ah, but Dumbledore's the best. He the head be MIC. <laughs> he okay. Oh, the head so Dumbled muggle in charge. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbledore says no. So then it goes to someone who has one line in the entire movie. And she's like, she's like, hello, Grindelwald. You're that's it. You I'm, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And we, we, uh, at one point, uh, Jacob is, uh, is cursed. He gets the, the Cruciatus curse. Mm. And we, we cut to her silently uncursing him. So we don't, yeah. so she's good. Oh, she's good. She should oh, be president. Good. She should yeah. be president. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Because killing is bad. <laughs> that's the that's as as moral of a stance as J.K. is willing to take. <laughs> uh, 
Keep playing. Who's dying of, uh, I don't know, Morbius disease? Yeah. Queenie, who spends the entire film looking like she has a sharp rock in her shoe, but doesn't want to yell cut and ruin the take. Oh, that's the stabby part? Oh, I think I got it. Oh, no, it's still there. <laughs> and a bunch more characters who may or may not be carryovers from the last film. <laughs> bizarre, of course, no matter how good of a person one tries to be. Was she in the last one? I feel like I'd remember that accent. Put yourself in danger to save a perfect stranger. So, pause. <laughs> I'd take Danielle, my bullets around. You say that, and it is, that is a mid-Atlantic accent, which was like a film convention of an accent yeah yeah, yeah yeah like it was literally like a uh, uh it was a thing that started uh, uh in radio plays and then when films became talkies like that became yeah. like a, a, yeah. a style that people did it when could... i studied um uh voice and speech in college um they that was one of the dialects we were taught as a way to just so you get to know how to like because there's like a whole phonetic alphabet and stuff so you get to learn because there's like different you no know, there's like 80 different ways to say like a like there's like Hey, ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> like there's a bunch of yeah, there's a bunch of different ones, yeah. and so uh, in this one, and I, I don't look. It was a creative choice, but it's one that a lot of people don't understand because the Mid Atlantic or transatlantic ac accent is supposed to sound like a weird mixture of like East Coast American and um posh English yeah. that like if you don't have that information like I didn't even remember it until I was like what is going on with this accent we're talking about it like in our um like uh, in our honest trailer group chat um and we're talking about it I'm like oh right no I do remember that now and like yeah. I studied the it, darn thing the, it's not the accent that's so much the issue it's that we're on our third film and they're still just shuffling through main characters yeah they're still like we can't decide who these movies are about who's along for the ride with us because she's right. I think she clearly took Tina's spot oh yeah yeah, I think sure. that's probably what happened here. Yes. That's a Tina role, like in terms of like her plot significance and proximity to Newt and stuff Defensive like that. Defensive magic. Yeah. Uh, so they're like, hmm, she'll do. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like the whole team in this movie, other than Newt and Jacob, feel like they're they're natural. Like they've been here at least since the beginning. Yeah. So like those are two characters we're used to following. Every single other member of that team. Like Dumbledore's squad that he puts together yeah. is like Theseus. I guess they don't really don't, have a reason yeah. to be there. Like Theseus, we've, he's never really had a role. He's always just there. He's Newt's brother, and he's never become anything more than Newt's brother. And the second one ended on like, was it Tina or somebody? Or no, the uh, that other lady was like, "I love you, one of you vague brothers. It's either you or you, but I'll tell you later. Gotta go." Yeah, <laughs> and then 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 this guy. Oh, oh it was a uh, what's her name? Yeah, Zoe Kravitz. Zoe, Zoe Kravitz. Kravitz. Yeah, she's, she's dead now. Who I think. We'll get there when we get to the thing. I think that that's the one that the dude was like, oh, uh, take away the memory of my sister. Is that who that was? I have no, no idea. Yes, oh. That's his that's, sister. Yeah, that's Lena his sister. Is Yusuf, I honestly did not he's The next guy I was going to get to is Yusuf Kama. It was like, he was there to deliver this piece of exposition at the end of two about the babies and Lena Lestrange Which is and everything. dropped. But, right, that's not important anymore. He doesn't even really know these other characters. Like, why? We don't know anything about him personally. And this is the third movie. Why is he there? And, and he winds up being such an important part of and the plot. I wish this was, the, right. it'd be and hilarious she, if the Harry Potter films worked out this way. And Harry's just like, I have new friends this year. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. And then, like, sorry, Ron, like, sorry, beat suckers. it. Sorry, suckers. <laughs> so all these characters together, this is you're Cody. just like, yeah, you're <laughs> like, <laughs> who are the, <laughs> this is Kyle. Who are the stars of this franchise? Like, this, they haven't given me the basics of like who I'm following. That would be more realistic if between like year four and five of yeah. Hogwarts, Harry Potter just is like, I'm friends with Cody and Kyle. Yeah, no, right, sorry, right. sorry Ron. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> And Ron was like, yeah, Harry and I, you know, we used to hang out. Just, you know, people just grow apart. It, was, it wasn't, you know. Nothing malicious. I still, yeah, I still, yeah. I wasn't I like one of us stopped oh, hanging out with the other. Just, families you know. of friends. We see each other on vacation. <laughs> like, yeah. I think he's dating my sister. Yeah. yeah. All right, keep going. All right. <laughs> Strap in for the story of a magic friendship bracelet that stops Dumbledore from fighting his high school sweetheart. I was in love with you. That's right. Dumbledore's out. Oh, yeah. He's proud. He used to be a pureblood fanatic who vowed to do a genocide. It was you who said we could reshape the world. Was also, it? he has no <laughs> friends. He probably killed his sister, abandoned his nephew, and his remaining family hates him. <laughs> Will, as it takes on his old play, Colin Fair, Johnny Depp, Mads Mickelson's Grindelwald, a guy uh, who pause. hates the...
we were talking about this before we started rolling. We were, we've just been yelling about this all morning. Um, is that they made a big to do out of the uh, the face reveal uh, of of Johnny Depp in when, in when the last one. Colin Farrell turns into, or they reverse the spell to to change his face into Johnny Depp's face as Grindelwald. Everybody immediately recognizes. He doesn't right. have to say. Everybody whispers, "That's Grindelwald." Right. He doesn't have to say, "Ha ha, it's me, <laughs> Grindelwald, suckers." They all know by sight. So so Johnny Depp's face is Grindelwald's. Traditional That's face. the face that Dumbledore fell in love with. So <laughs> right. So uh, when we see Mads Mikkelsen in this film, regardless of your feelings on the cat, whatever you think, I agree with you. But <laughs> it's weird that at no point does anyone call attention to the fact that he changed the way he looks dramatically. Like, it's, he totally changed and his, it's the a- one thing and his accent. In universe, there's like so many different explanations for that. Yeah, um, he gave himself a Danish accent, which is <laughs> I'm, extreme. I'm sorry. Even in uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, they had a line when there was a new Aunt <laughs> yeah. Viv. Aunt yeah. Viv yeah. doesn't Viv got a line. Yeah. Rhodey got a line. Rhodey got a line. Yeah. They couldn't have given them a line. Not even like, a line. Oh, hey, yeah. new face. Yeah. yeah, it is weird that <laughs> nobody has ever liked New face, and that's no why, case. And that's why I gave myself this face in Danish accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's running for election. He's like, uh, polling said, uh, magic yeah, polling right, said. Like people little, responded more. salt and pepper it, up here. Yeah. They thought better than the blonde. They I tr- don't know. trusted a Danish accent. Uh, and they told me to ditch the skull bong. That was kind of <laughs> creeping people out last time. <laughs> they were like, less scarves. And I was like, all right, all right it's kind of my fine, thing, but okay. Fine, fine. Uh, okay, keep playing. Human race, but oh, there's a scarf. To couple oh, there's a scarf. Yeah. Why you felt me? Using a plan that's hard to follow by design, see? If we hope to defeat yeah, what an out. Him, then our <laughs> best hope is to confuse him. The fact that everything didn't go it worked. precisely <laughs> the plan was Brilliant. precisely the plan. Resulting in the franchise's latest climactic goo-on-goo goo final duel. Yeah. Only the wizard with the most potent goo can win. <laughs> I mean, pause. Ready? So, yeah, if you want... Exhibit A for uh, why David Yates needs to go to Azkaban. <laughs> it's the way he directs magical fighting, um, which is just if you watch uh, uh, Multiverse of Madness, if you watch Everything Everywhere All at Once, if you watch a, a, a film with a director with uh, one iota of creativity left in their body that hasn't been completely sucked dry, they probably can do something more interesting than just flicking particle effects at each other. These They've set up that spells can do anything. Right. Absolutely anything. Yep. And when it comes down to the two greatest wizards of all time, uh, uh, Voldemort, whatever, like there was a... Gr- uh, which one was it where they had the Dumbledore-Voldemort uh, duel in like the bank vault? Where they're like creating enormous dragons and he turns yes. it into like, he turns it into butterflies and yeah. like something that maybe reflects their personalities and their different approaches to magic and their uh, just something about themselves and works with the space creatively, but they're just in a gray cloud shooting sparks at each other. Yeah. Uh, Which the whole movie is a gray cloud and yes. like not just the movie and how it makes you feel when you leave it, but like the way that it is shot, it is all, and I get it, like London foggy. Eh. Um, but I don't know if Germany is that foggy. I should ask my, I'll ask my own mom. Um, but it, it is one of those things where it's, I don't under, it's the superheroification of it, of the, well, people, Seem to like lasers on lasers. It's less so. than superheroification. It's just turning them into guns. The there's, wands are just yeah. guns. Yeah, there's, guns. there's one. There's one actually where they're they're all kind of like racing around and like mm. running, and it's like a chase. And and the wizards are that's all they're doing. They're just like Flip. hitting things and throwing things at one another with their wands. Yeah. And it is. It's it's like. There, there's got to be sit down for an afternoon and just take notes on like what are the hundred things you could do in a fight if you were magic and then just like put those in a movie like, you could shoot yeah like I don't it, like, like yeah you could shoot little like goo blasts at one another okay that's one like what we, we need ninety nine more we're just it's like relentlessly the same and after all these movies it's the eleventh movie in this oh, franchise man. and they've done better in previous. Wizarding yeah, I'm just like, I, right, just, it's we're like, going backwards. If you've got to keep doing wizard fighting and that's the format and that's what the action scenes are going to be on, I'm them pulling out their wands should be like Fast and Furious when somebody gets in a car. Exactly. Yeah, like, what are they going to do oh, this time? Oh, here we go. That's exactly <laughs> it. You got to one up yourself. Yeah. And like, Top Gun gets it, Mission Impossible gets it, Fast and Furious gets it. I don't feel like this they franchise get gets it. it. I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. All right. All right, P. All right, keep playing. <laughs> Set. Yeah, like again with the goo. 
Jones. So sit through the final installment of the series Who Lived, even though no one wanted it to anymore. As J.K. Rowling runs out of fans, runs out of nostalgia to milk. Three points to Hufflepuff. Oh, yay, said the thing. And runs out of new ideas, except for her one move where she dramatically reveals more sibling stuff. You murdered his sister. Dumbledore has a brother? Twins. They're the twins. It's my They're sister. Twins. Was an obscure. <laughs> She's my brother. She's my sister. She's my brother and my sister. Don't tell J.K. Rowling. I'm sorry, Oz. <laughs> I have known both of you for a very long time. I do not know if you have siblings. Oh. And if I found out it, that you did, I would not be. You, do you know if I have a sibling? No. No. <laughs> you, you know my sibling. Oh no, you're you're right. You're I know right. your sibling. I do know your yeah. sibling because we because I because you've worked with I've worked with your sibling. Yeah. But it is one <laughs> Jonathan of those Harris. Shout out. <laughs> shout out to Jonathan Harris always. But yeah, no. So it's one of those things. Where it's like Dumbledore has That's a brother. A brother. Like, yeah, <laughs> okay. people have brothers. He works dude. at a bar. Great. <laughs> Next <laughs> question. Not, right. He's like blown away by the idea that Dumbledore has a brother. It's like people do have brothers. Yeah. Not that. It's not have that way. Brothers. Yeah. Like it's fine. I have a brother. It's it's it makes no diff. Yeah. I have a sister. She's dope. But like. Even yeah. a twin. I feel like maybe you'd get that if you were like, this is my twin brother. People are like, right. you have a, a twin? twin? That's, 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 that's a different. Yeah. But he's, even not, then, he's just some guy. Even then, only if it's like an identical twin. Right. right. Fraternal twin. Who gives a I shit? Don't care. That's not <laughs> interesting. But if, but, if, but if like another you walked in all of a sudden, that would, would be, be like, that would yeah. be like, oh, crap. Oh, okay. I did not know that there were two spennies. Yeah. We've, we've been Olsen twinning you. <laughs> <laughs> we work on off days. That's why we're so relaxed. <laughs> they're, like, they're like the dead ringers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Keep going. <laughs> it's a good movie. Doctor Does Little. Jude Lawfully Good. Hannibal Lecture. Lovable Mug. Yes, Queenie. Come a come a come a come a come a the magician. I used to ship him. Now I'm not it's so sure. Ship of Theseus joke. Yeah. One dope queen. Assistant to the regional commander. The Flush. Crab people, crab We've used that before, people. But, okay. And the Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. Astonishing. Never had something that looked so repellent tasted so delicious. It's back. Harry politics back, and the chillin' of a villain. Uh, pause. The, the chillin' is the name of the stupid deer thing. So for people who don't get <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, they say, it they say chillin' a hundred times yeah, in the movie. Like like, yeah. Chilling? Are you chillin'? Yeah, you chillin' right now? very unclear. Yeah, there you go. You don't even. Oh well, pause. We should talk about the uh, the Asian thing that they do, which is not they, not put any Asian people. Yeah, in not the put movie. any Asian people in the film. Uh, but they they make a th just an aside because a chillin is like a sacred. A chillin is a Chinese animal from Chinese folklore. Yeah, and then they go to Bhutan at the end of the film, and that's they mention like temple. that's the source of some of our best magic. That that <laughs> that line really confused me too because I thought like. I thought magic is like, it's like invented, right? Like people make it. That's why it's like mm. alchemists and stuff. Like all of these spells and things are things like a person wrote a book and came up with this spell. Not I sure. thought. No, because see, midichlorians are yeah. in the plot. <laughs> yeah. uh, we but all then, know that magic but, people are genetic superiors. But, that much is clear. Right. Yeah. Okay, you have to natively be born with the magic gene or whatever to do magic. But I still thought like they, they, they treat it like technology mm. a lot of the time. But then that implies that it's like naturally occurring. Like, oh, the magical spring in Bhutan is an important source for global magic. Like, wait, right. no, there is not a, have there, this there is an out. Asian character in this movie who's running for president who I, I, maybe gets one line, not even a line. I don't. Think. No, I don't we think never, he gets. A, he does not get a line. He's never. there. Lu I think Tao. He, right. The, oh, he's yeah, running yeah. for magic. I, I think Santos's like, opponent yeah. is. I believe it's Lu Tao. I think he just like. Looks stoic the way everyone who doesn't have a line in this movie yeah. just looks and every, stoic. He's wearing a lot of very fancy metal. He he's stoically in like full accepts military that, regalia. He stoically accepts that the magic deer bowed to three other people before him. Um, he's just like, oh, I guess it's not my, like, well, not I'm, my time. I'm very bad. I am very bad. I'm a bad person. I'm rotten to the core. I'm glad this deer never interrogated my soul because it's dark. Uh. <laughs> All right, keep, keep, let's finish this dumb thing. Trace the memories of these characters, dude. The movies did that all on their own. Yeah, the fact that, that was Zoe Kravitz and I forgot so yeah. it says a lot. Yeah, Lena um, Lestrange, his sister. Oof. What a piece of shit. There um, were a few moments like that where it's like, I'm sure this is meaningful if you are on Pottermore every day yeah. and you know what's going on, but I don't know what's going yeah. on. 
Well, thank you for watching to this point. Oh um, we're not done yet, uh, but please like and subscribe <laughs> and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our uh, uh, loving recaps of the films of J.K. Rowling. Uh, we do it. We do it every time she graces us with one. And then check out the Fandom Twitch channel, which has launched uh, twitch.tv slash fandom. Gets to see some honest game streams mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Emma and Bailey uh, playing, playing all the hits with some guests that actually worked on the games too. Yeah. So that is, I think, Wednesdays and Thursdays, right, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, those are, that's when they're live. So, yeah, they uh, have like a Andy Campbell on. That was a, what was it last week, Ren? Yeah, for Evil Dead. Yeah, so there's a, there should be a VOD of that if you want to go check it out because, you know, he worked on the Evil Dead game. Nice. Um, I want to play that. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's do some uh, so questions or some deleted scenes. What do we do next? Let's do some questions. Can you tell us Obi-Wan tomorrow? I Obi Wan review tomorrow. Obi Wan review tomorrow. Oh. Live. Five p.m. Live p.m. All right, <laughs> we'll we'll see you then. We'll see you at live p.m. Um, all right, let's watch some outtakes first. Starring all my magic apes gone. <laughs> Case Ventura, pet protector. The magic school size. Case Ventura. Shrewd Law, University of Phoenix, out of his dab, rise and grin. He mads, bro. <laughs> The Fabulous Baker Boy, Baking a Murderer, Fempath, Queen Grey, Mid at Laxant, Hawaii's Most Wanted. <laughs> Are we sure he's not a Snape? Ooh. Be gay, do crimes of Dumbledore, the chillin' of a sacred deer, Dumbledore, love and blunder. All right. There well, we there you go. go. Um, some of those are pretty good, uh, yeah. but glad you got to see them here. Uh, All my magic apes gone. I thought that yeah. was pretty good. Uh, MJ Pretz are coming in hot. Let's see. Uh, because you guys love me. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're a respected member of the community. <laughs> Let's take it one step at a time. Uh, I am here with questions. Uh, are these prequels going to get revisionism like the Star Wars? Wars once half. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. If you're a kid, the, your parents are showing you the Harry Potter movies. And yeah. I think those will will survive and carry on. But I don't think anybody is. Filoni is watching these right now. No, they're taking no. scribbling crazy no. notes. I do think that Newt has like a strong core of fans. Yes, for sure. Yeah. I honestly still feel like. Forget this whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. Newt, Newt Scamander. <laughs> and I'm gone. Because this series is all written with the idea that he already wrote and published. People are always like, oh, I love your book about the yeah. fantastic beast, Mr. Scamander. where to find them. Yeah. You could still do what we thought this was going to be. A magic safari with Newt Him Scamander. going around the world, look tracking and having adventures looking for you fantastic You were chilling. Bees. What's that like? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Newt Scamander. <laughs> safari planet. Yeah, exactly. Newt Scamander. It's just, it's just, <laughs> Him and Brian Fellows are touring the world. That like, tear's looking into my soul. That sounds crazy. <laughs> okay, soul. I'm in, done. I'm in for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, Adam Albert writes, I avoided crimes and I struggled to understand this movie, yet felt it was intentionally confusing. Does seeing the previous film make it worse or better? They drop a lot Not from better. this film. Yeah, they drop, uh, they drop some love triangle stuff with Tina um, and Theseus and, uh, and Newt. And yeah. they drop uh, the importance of Credence being a Dumbledore is like they just they're just writing a, a few mirror foggy words to each other, but that's it. Doesn't two amount to much. is definitely two ends like it is leading directly into the World War Two era. Yeah. Like Grindelwald yes. is like has amassed an army. Wizards need to unite because we're going to prevent World War Two, and this is what the humans are doing, and this is why he we creates need to the have magic circle of like if you believe in me, come right. in here. Yeah. He's formed and an then, army. And it's like this movie, now he needs to get elected. Yeah, this movie is a total departure for that, and it's like his goal is to become president of wizards for some reason it's not even clear what he wants the power of that office to do he just yeah. wants it uh and it's got nothing to do with anything we talked about world war ii not mentioned in this movie uh yeah. and, and it, it does feel like i i was saying each new fantastic beast movie it feels like there were two in between the last one that you saw that you haven't seen and you're just constantly playing catch up yeah, yeah. oh someone down here at bruins fan wrote fantastic beasts and where to find them should have been a hagrid show to the tune of croc hunter if you could get newt and young hagrid together i don't know Yo. if the timelines match but done gold jerry yeah. gold uh, I want to see. Uh, oh, Burns fan also wrote. Uh, they should keep the bit of recasting Grindelwald. Who should play him next? Oh, ooh. So we've had Colin Farrell, mm -hmm. Johnny Depp, mm -hmm. Mads. W what comes in that? Uh, finish that sequence for me. Mm. Jesse Plemons. Jesse, Jesse Plemons. Plemons. Oh, that's great. Plemons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you want Plemons someone with believable sexual chemistry with Jude Law? Um, you go Plemons. 
I think uh, Den of Thieves era Gerard Butler. <laughs> I think yeah. uh, oh. Cop Shop I want Butler. Cop Shop yeah. Butler. Like cop Shop Bye-bye. Butler, yeah. 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 But I, I mean, maybe for this, you have him get in uh, back in like 300 shape. You know, just for just for them to pop their shirts off for for their uh, for their final goo duel. Yeah. Hugh Jackman. There Hugh Jackman. Yeah, he yeah. could play. He could play Grindy. I feel yeah. like uh, Christian Bale also would be a, an yeah. intimidating Ooh. Grindelwald. Yeah. yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh. Since Ben Zaiten says since Danielle is here, is there any merit to this frivolous and greedy lawsuit against Maverick? I don't know what they're talking about. Wait. But what's you're happening? you're a legal expert. I guess I don't know what the I, I'm not up on this. We'll Someone. Save it. We'll save it for We'll save, we'll it, save for it for the top, the top gun one. There's, a, a, there's a lawsuit against Maverick. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, all right. Again, I assumed again, this was going to be a wig question. Or Pete or... Maverick Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> I just assumed it was going to be a wig question, which the wigs his, in this are His good. mouth uh, is writing checks that his body can't cash. What about um, <laughs> what about the Mel Gibson film, Maverick? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> James Garner suing <laughs> Maverick. Yeah. Uh, does anybody know or care about Percy Jackson here at this table? No? I know a little bit okay. about it. I mean, people are all, those, I've yeah, seen the, people the films. are mad. Yeah. Why are all people right. mad now? Are people are mad? Yeah, but Tim Valesky asks, uh, I thought they were what excited are your thoughts about the new Percy, Percy Jackson. Jackson? I thought people were hyped for this yeah. one. Yeah. People were hype, and then they did that thing where they remembered that sometimes people aren't white, and now people are upset uh, about it. Uh, because, that, right, the Alexander <laughs> Daddario character from the films is now going to be a girl of color, I believe. Gotcha. That's the problem. Um, Which is, all I right. don't even think it's a film spinoff. It's uh, like a Linger, it's Linger, no, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's back to the books. Back and the, the books. guy, uh, the people were excited because Rick Reardon, the author of the books, is yeah. writing the pilot and involved in the show, and he yeah. wasn't involved in the film, so they feel like it's going to be oh, more it, authentic. And he'd been cussing people out. He was like, "No, I, I am part of who says who gets yeah, cast. So right. if no, I am saying that this person is my producer. character, yeah. then I am saying that that yeah. is my character and that they fit who <laughs> I am writing. You can't really and argue can with the, the author. He, yeah. he, the author of the books is producing the show. So like, it's his, it's his thing. Seems like a lovely bunch. Uh, Linger Sengor writes, uh, I recovered from COVID, but still need you all to review Kissing Booth 3. <laughs> Which characters in- That's a low blow. F- That's, F-B-S-O-D need to get in the Kissing Booth? What's F-B-S-O-D? Uh, F. Fantastic Beasts. Beast. Oh, Beast. Secrets of Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Need to get in the kissing booth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Who's getting? All right. Wait, you... is there a kissing booth in Kissing Booth Three? Because there's no guarantees <laughs> in this franchise. There's oh... two barely, barely gets around. I think that's the only guarantee there is: is that they will work at Kissing Booth. Kissing into Booth this Two is like two hours and forty-five minutes. It's longer than an episode of Stranger Things, and they barely get to. A I've kissing completely booth. Uh, did the me- the memory spell for Kissing Booth One and Two. Those are gone. Yeah. Absolutely kissing gone. Kissing Booth from my One is like we were like, hey. This movie's two hours long. That's a little long. And then Kissing Booth 2 just throws all <laughs> sense and reason to the wind. It yeah. literally is like two and a half hours. I think we need Newt. Um, although the, uh, well, hmm. So no. that's why I'm scared to go into Kissing Booth 3 because I feel like legitimately we might pull it up and it's just four hours long and nobody <laughs> mentioned it to us. I think we need the, uh, the the is it, yeah, the Jacob Queenie Kissing Booth. Like, oh. just just give us like full... Just give us a full sex yeah, scene. Yeah, I mean, them. look, I'm in in a movie that is again about like this uh, love affair gone wrong, um, that also has a weird love triangle gone poof. Um, they are the only people in the movie who seem like they have even heard of sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah I they would seem like, actually attracted to each other. Yeah, Good for them. I Good want you. Yusuf Kama to go up there into the kissing booth, and then the whole crowd is just like, "Who is that?" Who is that, guy? <laughs> that? And then yeah, you and- get the one guy that I like. He doesn't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right. Enough of this. You know what? <laughs> next week, we're doing a movie that's good. Oh, my God. We're doing a good movie next yeah. week. Yeah. Isn't that oh, exciting? I know. It's hard. Good and it's not really part of any uh, franchise mm. uh, or IP, and it's good. Wow. That's always, your clue. I always wanted to do a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what that's like. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you next week when we cover that here on Australia Commentaries. Thanks so much for watching. May we never speak of this film again. <laughs> we won't. No way.